but anyway, they're bringing it back. It's quite an unusual situation. Uh, they said, oh, why don't you send a real RAF pilot down? A nice idea. RAF only too happy to uh, oblige. And then said, we don't want a white male pilot. That's racism, isn't it? It absolutely is racism. And this is the problem I've got, and many people should have, with this whole promotion of what those who promulgate it call positive discrimination. Mm. The fact is, even positive discrimination is discrimination. And what we really want in society is to promote, as we all, those of us who grew up in the Maggie Thatcher will recall, is to promote meritocracy. What we want is this meritocratically based society. So the best in each sector, the best in their craft, the best at teaching, the best in the medical profession, whatever it is, get to the top. And that way, we get a society actually that is functioning at peak level. This idea that we should be discriminating against or in favor of any ethnic, um, uh, religious or sexual group is completely wrong and it has to stop. The Ministry of Defence has apologised for any offence caused and said the language should not have been used. But I think the thing we have to worry about here, Ben, is that someone somewhere, in fact it would have been a set of people, thought that uh, this advert for a non-white pilot was perfectly acceptable, perfectly OK. It's not. It's not. I mean, I think a lot of us have been hijacked by this mantra over decades of it being you know, put forward that there's got to be positive discrimination to bring a level playing field back into society. But actually, it doesn't bring a level playing field into society. What it does is harden divisions uh, between ethnic minorities, between the sexes, and between religious beliefs. That's what it does. And, you know, another example of it, which if you give the proposition cursory thought, you might favour it. But take Sadi Khan's policy of wanting black people policing black, uh, black localities, Asian people policing Asian localities. That doesn't do anything for the integration of our society, for the homogeneity, for, the, uh, for, for cultural integrity, and for, um, for peace, if you like, in our society. What that does is actually harden the divisions between the various multicultural uh, you know, groups that live in London. And it's completely wrong. What we want to do is break down these barriers. We don't want people to think, oh, we've got to put someone forward. Let's put forward a non-white um, <laughs> female. I mean, he didn't even say female. He said non-male, whatever non-male is. Yeah, um, that's right. You know, and, um, you know, we've just got to get past this. When I was going through school in university, it was all about meritocracy. Maggie Thatcher drove that home. And I wish we could just go back to that very basic principle of those who... You know, those who who get to the top in whatever it is that they're aspiring to, to, to get to the top of, they get there because they're good at what they're doing, not because of their, the colour of their skin or their religious beliefs or their sexual predisposition. Yeah, I mean, I don't care uh, what kind of pilot they send to the Top Gun Maverick event, uh, but it seems uh, that some people at the RAF would be ashamed to send a pilot who was white and male. Why would well, they clearly. be ashamed of that? Clearly. I, well, I mean, it's something that, uh, you know, I'm half Pakistani, so I'm brown, and I think I can speak uh, perhaps more freely than white people can. But I think that this country is, seems to me intent on uh, emasculating its indigenous Anglo-Saxon population. It's almost that like there's a kind of self-loathing going on in the UK. I don't want to digress, but all this talk about this, this anti- uh, feeling towards our history, our culture, our heritage, the British Empire, all this negativity about who we are and where we came from. I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm absolutely sick of it. And I look back at our past with pride. And I look, uh, I, I look generally at what we've done in the world with pride. And I think people need to you know, need to change their tune. I, I think, Ben, uh, that there are people at work here trying to create racism in this country. I've lived in America, I've been around the world, uh, and uh, I can tell you, uh, this is one of the least racist countries on the face of the earth. And yet, we have these, uh, these minorities who try, this minority opinion, which tries to put forward the fact that Britain is a racist hellhole. It simply is not. It simply is not. And there are many, many African countries which are much more racist than we are. 
I mean, historically, I don't want to pick on Rwanda particularly, but historically... <laughs> you know, why would you bring Rwanda up? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why it just popped into my head. It's history in that regard is awful. And it's right, it's right across the world. The UK actually is a paragon of relative virtue. We're an incredibly tolerant society. And it is people, I'm going to call him out again, it's people like Sadi Khan who want to whip this up for their political base. They want, to, they want divisions in society. They, it suits their political endeavor to have those differences so they can you know, whip their base up to vote for them or whatever it is they wish to do. People like Sadi Khan shouldn't be allowed into public office. I'm going to get that out there. Uh, well, well the uh, you're not going to find a hostile <laughs> reception here, Ben. Uh, ben, great to talk to you as always. Thank you so much for your time.